Streets and Scholars. Alex Alonso posted up with Frank Thornton, a.k.a. FG, a.k.a. the Eastside General. What's going on, man? Oh, man, just taking it easy. How your day going, Alex? Hey, man. Episode 12, you you got the whole thing going because the conversation I had with you kind of inspired me to just randomly talk about this dude, Miko Worldwide, way back in May. That was in May, man. We brought that up. Yeah. Episode 12, everybody. Go tap in. Episode 12. Then we followed it up. I don't know if it was this, the next episode or the episode after that where I corrected a mistake that I said in episode 12. Because mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember, but I originally said he pled down to just sexual assault. Right, right, but right. it turns out he just pled down to aggravated assault. No doubt, no doubt. But at this point, you know, I mean, the whole nation is talking about it, man. So people are really coming out with the facts of what really happened back then. I think everybody's pretty uh, clear on what happened in 2018. But he also has a sexual... Sexual battery arrest in 2012 that was dismissed. Oh, okay. So, so my whole thing is um, in 2012, you got a sexual a battery arrest. And in 2018, six years later, you have another sexual arrest, even though it pled, pled down. Uh, is that a red flag when, when a person has two sexual arrests, even though they might end up in lesser offenses? Oh, no doubt, man. You know, but at the end of the day, when we go back or when I went back and I start just looking at everything about the dude, man, you know, the dude is what he is. He's a sexual predator. You know what I mean? Whether Ooh. it's whether, whether <laughs> and when I say predator, I don't mean, you know, uh, just all about kids or nothing like that. It's just, you know what I mean? He have a couple sexual uh, situations that he was actually in court for. So if you was in court for two, that mean you committed a 10, you know, at least, you know what I mean? And that's just my opinion. That's just yeah. coming from me and my opinion. So I ain't going to sugarcoat the shit with the dude, man. It hey, is what it is. Hey, I got to I got to be a little bit more delicate when it comes to shit like this. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm not going to call him a predator, but definitely you have two sexual related arrests within a six year period from age 21 to 27. I got issues with that. Just that. But, you know, I'm not going to he's not in any sexual registry of um, database. He's not considered uh, as we would do here in California to be in Megan's law. But, you know, if he would have did that Georgia crime in California because we got 18 as the age of consent there, they got 16. He would definitely be in the Chomo database. Well, I mean, I'm not going to just say it ain't even about the Chomo part. You know, when I say predator, I mean predatory, period. You know what I mean? In a sexual way. You know what I mean? Whether it's uh, female, male. Or, but at the end of the day, man, a lot of his sexuality is coming out. And that's the thing about this whole situation, his sexuality. You know what I mean? And he's lying so much about it, the things that he got involved in. You know, nobody know what to believe. Now, you know, he's been taking a lot of heat. And, you know, the Internet is, I would say, is, un, is, is not forgiving. No, no doubt. It's a few people out there <laughs> taking heat right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, I think it's getting to him to a certain point because he's having somewhat like what we'd call meltdowns. Uh, people say he's crashing out. And the other day when he when he flew back into Atlanta after he did the paperwork party, which we're going to talk about. But after he came back from Vegas, where he did that paperwork party, mm-hmm. He's in Atlanta driving around in his fancy yellow Corvette, and he decides, you know what, pull up on me, pull up on me. He goes live, and he's telling everybody, if you, for everyone who's threatening me in my DMs and you don't like something about me, pull up on me. In fact, let, let me just play a little clip okay. and, and, and get your feedback on this because it's a little, it's a little wild, man. Let me see if I can cue this up. Let's see here. Uh, this guy goes live on Instagram. Come on, come on. And here we go. Damn, that's crazy, man. People so scared. How you doing? Yo, where are we at right now? Tell the people where we at. We in the bluff, baby. We in the that's bluff, it. baby. We that's it. We in the bluff. Yo, you know the fucking vibes, man. We in the bluff right now, man. Come on, man. Hey, I don't expect the nine to fivers to do anything. I expect the hustlers, drug dealers, and killers, people that was in my inbox telling me you're going to do something to me to be up right now. If you just a nine to fiver, I don't expect you to be up right now. You good. But if you a hustler, drug dealer, killer, and you talking shit to me, come on, there ain't no cameras around here. We in the bluff right now. Come on, there ain't no killers or they ain't they ain't no cameras around here right now. Come on, come on, come on. Pull up, please pull up. Come on. <laughs> come on, man. I just got off the plane. I had to pull up. Come on. I just gotta show y'all what's up, man. Come on, please. I'm begging you. Come on. 
<laughs> Come on, man. Let's go, please. Look, y'all see the vet? Y'all see me. Come on. We outside with it. Come on. <laughs> All right. Oh I think God. we get the, the point on that. And this is a video that actually lasts for about 19 minutes while he's posted up in the hood in Atlanta, man. What's your whole response to this crazy, craziness? Well, this is the thing about it, man. You know what I mean? First and foremost, I don't have nothing personal against this dude. You know what I mean? We brought him up, put the information out there, set the tone for what it was. At the end of the day, he set the tone up for how guilty he actually is with his responses. He's going around every neighborhood and made numerous videos about why he should and shouldn't do. He's, 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 he's basically turned this into a clown show on his own with his responses. This shit that he's doing, I'm over here in the bluff. I'm over here, here. I'm a, dude, I could pull up anywhere right now and say I'm over here right now <laughs> for 19 minutes and yeah. nobody will pull up, man. You know what I mean? Everybody ain't patrolling the hood 2, 3 in the morning, midnight. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you know, it's really like if people pay attention, this dude is showing his hand on something is wrong. You know, I'm not even going, you know, accuse him of nothing any further, but something is wrong, man, by his responses. And you can see that this dude is, like you say, having a meltdown. He's, he, he don't even know how to respond. I think it's also dangerous for anyone who's his friend or anyone who's in his family that hangs out with him who might jump in that yellow Corvette of his and hang out for the day because now he's, he's not only putting the target on himself, but he's also putting at risk all the people who hang out with him or who's in his family. And at some point, somebody will pull up. No, no doubt. But at the end of the day, you know, I think that he might understand that his situation ain't a pull up situation. You know, he ain't gun nobody down. He ain't whoop nobody ass. He ain't pissed to whip nobody. You know what I mean? He got some cases where his name was tarnished. You know what I mean? I looked at him in a certain kind of way because a 27-year-old with a 17-year-old, I looked at you a certain kind of way, homie. You know what I mean? I don't care if it is legal in Georgia. So he don't have a situation, Alex, with somebody out there really just trying to probably gun him down. He might take an ass whooping or nothing like that, but he don't deserve to get you, you feel me? The whole squad come through. And so so he can get away with shit like that. Yeah, but what about when he says, fuck in New York City, fuck China Mac, fuck all you niggas. Y'all ain't going to pull up on me. What about when he starts to take it there, though? Well, he's in Atlanta. You know, he's at home. He, or he's wherever he's at in the bluff. You know what I mean? And he's very aware of his surroundings. This dude has been around multiple cities, uh, um down in the Dominican Republic in Colombia, he's not no stranger to moving around. Shit, he's been here to Compton, L.A., Los Angeles, Watts. He's not a stranger to moving around. So therefore, I think he's wise enough to know how when he move, he knows how to move. Talk his shit for 30 minutes to an hour, and he gonna move out the way, so, you know. Thanks for watching this video clip of Streets and Scholars podcast with Alex Alonso and FG. If you want to listen to the entire episode, go to your favorite podcast platform and type in Streets and Scholars. But we're available on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and Spotify. And thanks for listening to another episode of Streets and Scholars.